All right, let's do a quick recap of the basic building blocks of LifeFrame. We have what I call the big three, okay? We have user management, we have access control, and content management, okay? For user management, we know that we can organize uh, users into a hierarchy using organizations or into more specified groups outside of the organization structure called user groups, okay? For access control, we know that permissions are an action on a resource and we have roles, which are collections of those permissions. And lastly, we have our sites, which are going to be our group of content and pages. And that's where we can perform our content management to engage our users with either our different assets or fragments that we have available, okay? With these in mind, we're gonna turn to a few of the remaining features that help us fill out or build the fuller process of getting this stuff out the door, okay? So we're gonna start with workflow. We'll look at staging as well as the last few new features that are included and coming out in 7.1. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, first let's look at workflow. Okay, now what is workflow? Workflow is essentially a business process that we can use to get things reviewed uh, and make sure that everything is good to go before it heads out the door. So this can be used for things like uh, content review, make sure that we have our editors, our copy editors checking things out, making sure all the copy is correct before it goes out the door, et cetera, et cetera, okay? We can set up workflow on individual resources uh, or we can set up workflow specifically on folders for things like documents and web content, okay? We can provide those restrictions for our documents and content and what that allows us to do is to say, we want to specifically provide a particular business review process on, uh, let's say, a web content structure or a document type. For example, before we talked about being able to create document types such as contracts or something along those lines, and we can say we need a specific process for contracts, uh, but maybe we don't need that for all of our documents. Maybe we need another process for our different documents or something along those lines. Okay, this allows us to be specific by being able to select exactly what we want a particular workflow process on. Now workflow can be configured at the platform level uh, and it can also be configured at the site level as well. And of course, users need to be involved as well. So there is a place in the user panel where you can go ahead and uh, jump into a particular workflow process if you have been added to that process. In the control panel, it allows you to uh, not only upload or create new workflow definitions, but also configure platform-wide business processes if needed, okay? Uh, at the site level, it's just about placing your uh, workflow processes on resources in that individual site, okay? And at the user panel, of course, this is where you can hop in, you can review content, you can comment on the content, edit it if you have the permissions, and then, of course, you can reject or approve it. Okay. So this is similar to tools you may have used before if you're familiar with something like Jira, for example. Now there's a default uh, workflow process that you can find on the platform. It's called the single approver workflow. And what this allows you to do is send something to the workflow, have someone take a look at it. They can either approve it, in which case it is available to the platform. So for example, if it was content, it would now be publishable okay, uh, or available for display on a page or you can reject it, in which case it would go back to the original creator of that asset and they would need to update it and send it in for approval again. Okay, so keep this in mind, alongside of the assets that are available to you on the platform, you also have a tool like Workflow, which allows you to set up a business process when it comes to creating or generating those assets for display to engage your users with content. You also have the ability to create different approval processes as needed, okay? Livingston can take advantage of that single approver workflow, but any administrator can go ahead and create uh, any sort of newly defined workflow as needed in your particular context, okay? Workflows can be applied to specific resources, namely some of the assets, as well as through folder restrictions for things like documents and media and web content. This allows you to be more specific uh, with which documents or content uh, you want to have a particular review process for. All right. Okay, in the next section, we'll go ahead and take a look at staging. We'll see you there.